Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again and thank you sincerely for coming back. And this is your first time, please enjoy this topic and subscribe right about now. Like the video so that so many other persons like you can get to watch it and benefit from it. Then remember to also turn on your notification bell. Today we'll be talking about 10 lucrative businesses you can actually start, develop and grow in Benin Republic, Kotonou to be precise. So if you're already in Kotonou, if you're already in Benin or you are looking to come and invest here, these are areas you could consider. I have seen businesses actually strive and do well. These are, these, are, these are areas where you have challenges or problems that need solutions for you to perform. And um, they are endless. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless for you to grow within this area. The first I have identified is the fact that there are lots of Nigerians here. And there are very, very few local restaurants. Why I'm using the word local restaurants? Local restaurants are those that can actually provide Nigerian foods like jollof rice, Nigerian jollof rice. Remember, there are other types of jollof rice in Africa. Specifically, the spicy, well decorated Nigerian jollof rice. We are looking at a goosey soup, we are looking at a bono soup, we are looking at a mala, we are looking at a whole lot more. Fufu, begiri, vegetable, and all that you can. Even black soup. Local restaurants are in demand here. In fact, I have to travel long distances just to get um, local Nigerian food. And they are, they, are, they, are, they are pretty expensive because they are scarce. So you make good fortune, you, the, your clients know what they are paying for. I, I spent a minimum of at least about 3,000 sefa just to eat um, jollof rice, chicken or turkey as the case may be, and salad and it's worth it. So people are ready to pay for it. And that's local restaurants. And that's why I mentioned local restaurants because in Nigeria, very few local restaurants would you have to spend that much. So um, it's something you can't go into in a large scale, have it in different towns, in different locations. Um, yeah, because you have Nigerians scattered all over. Also, second business idea are fast foods. I've come to realize that uh, we have uh, more foreigners like the Lebanese and others, Pakistanis, Pakistan guys having a fast food restaurant and they focus on shawarma uh, basically. But um, we, we, this place needs a lot of KFC, Chicken Republic, and a whole lot. You see, in my office, people find a hard time, especially when you are not, you are not a Pakistanis. Uh, find it difficult to place others. So, um, fast food business is a business that will grow. That will grow once you understand the model, you understand the people, you understand the market and the economy. I'm sure you're going to set uh, uh, set up something that would uh, go well with the environment here, and you make a fortune out of it. I believe in not just concentrating on any area. The, the place is is is. Uh, the, the economy is well well balanced so regardless of where you are whether it's a town or a village or in the main city you will still your business will still do well your business will still do well usually if you also offer delivery just just plan do your survey business analysis and i'm sure you will do well the third business opportunity are the sales of bike moto motorcycle bike and um, they, the, they are the they are the most reliable or commonly used means of transportation here and uh, the answer might not be totally correct vehicles are current and not that much compared to the motorcycle or the bike as you do it to be because probably because of the it's not an oil producing country uh, so they have to rely on Nigeria to get fuel so when there is crisis, the fuel crisis in Nigeria it affects the country. So um, we have lots of bikes in the road, motorcycle, both for personal use and uh, commercial use. And the number of customers in a way still outweigh the number of uh, bikes. Sometimes you may have to start five minutes before you get by or thereabouts. 
So, still some bike in fact, there is hardly uh, no day any bike seller will not sell uh, a good number. So, you can look into that, do your business or your but that's what is driving. The sales of car, it's not what drives you. You need for people that live in this car. So, when sales of bike, of course, is a, is a good business opportunity. The fifth, the fourth business opportunity, obviously, are bike accessories. So, if you don't have the capacity, the cap, uh, cap, uh, capital to start up uh, bike sales in, in wholesale, because that will be wholesale. Um, then you have to go to the kitchen of accessories, new or probably fairly used, depending on what your market survey tells you. But sales of bike accessories you sell with helmet, uh, brake parts, every single bike part, because that's uh, what they use mentally. So obviously, from time to time, people would always want to come back for parts and accessories. The fifth business opportunity that is out here in Kotonou Benin Republic is the fact that this is a problem that I've realized that is bringing up this opportunity. The problem is we're having, the opportunity here is that we're having lots of foreigners coming in. I think people are getting to know more about how stable Kotonou Benin Republic is, how the economy is, and there are lots of foreigners coming in. Tourists are even coming in, and um, there is a bit of language uh, barrier so, uh, actually, the English speaking tourists or settlers are looking for um, um, tour companies, travel companies to help them bookings in and out and within the city. Um, a whole lot. They want to visit tourist sites and a whole lot. There is a great demand for tour and travel companies. So, if you already have this running elsewhere, you could come survey this environment and set up something that I, I, I believe uh, you will do well, your business will do well. The sixth business opportunity I have identified here is they have a very functional, active 24 hour uh, seaport, and um, yes, it's close to the European nations. They import a lot from France and Germany. So, if you are going to importation, Nigeria depends on them a lot too because of the currency. However, now that uh, uh, self Thailand and the Naira, there are still some things that you get that they are able to ship from countries closer to them compared to Nigeria shipping from those countries. So, um, Nigeria still come here to buy lots of things like clothing, uh, kitchen wares, and a whole lot more. So, importation generally, into importation, uh, this is also a good place for you to venture your business into. And, you will do very well because it's a, it's a stable society, it's a stable economy, it is uh, secure, there is no harassment, just follow the due process. Once you follow the due process, it's consistent, it's consistent, it's nothing like Aguero is stopping you, there's nothing like uh, tax, force, this, that, there's no back and forth, it's, it's just straightforward. So if you're going to petition, you know a lot about it, you could come here and, and see how you can tap into that market. The seventh business opportunity I've also identified here is that you can become a house agent. Houses are scarce. Houses are scarce. Now, I I learned that uh, you cannot own land here as a foreigner to build apartment. That's why I've seen people be part of building building apartments here. But you can liaise with uh, those that have the permit or the legal right to set up to build apartments and become an agent. It, it's a fortune, I tell you, it's a fortune. Because I mentioned earlier, there's a language barrier, uh, and people really don't know where the free vacant houses are. So, as an agent, you are being paid 3000 sefa for visit fee. So, if ideally, if you, if you have a client that wants to go see four houses in a day, he picks which he wants. He pays you 3,000 sefa times four, that's 12,000 sefa. And this site, this uh, apartment viewing, might not take you about an hour, depending on the locality. Because most clients will tell you, I want this particular area, and you have four vacant houses there. He pays you that same amount to just sit down. You pay 12,000 sefa within an hour, you can replicate that for 10 clients, depending on your setup. Most of the agents here do it um, uh, 
personal, they don't really see it as a business they can scale forward. But if you come up, have an office, have a signed post, you are registered, you have uh, agents under you, I mean, the employees under you that can take clients out, not just one agent that, that everybody has to wait on, you can service a lot of persons. In the, and I can tell you for sure, this is one of the top most recommended businesses you can start in Koto. And in Nigeria, it's a percentage. It's a percentage. In Nigeria, it's a percentage. I think, uh, I think it should be 10 to 30 percent. I'm, I'm correct. I think it's way not more than 30 percent. So meaning, if you if you rent a house for a hundred thousand naira a year, or a hundred thousand naira, let's just focus on a hundred thousand naira. Thirty percent of that gives you thirty thousand naira. That's what you give to the agent in Nigeria. But in Kotoni, in Benin Republic, the agent takes an entire month because the house the, the rent is paid monthly. So it takes an entire month rent, and 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 and. Most of the houses in Benin now are becoming expensive. Uh, for the area I stay in you wouldn't see a room and parlor that's one bedroom for less than 80. From 80, it starts from 80. And if it's a new apartment, you are looking at 100 to probably 120, 130. And if it's a two bedroom, depending on what you are, you, 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 you get the math, you get the, the drift. Start from 120 and there about, and this agent take a whole one month. It's not so if you rent an apartment for 120,000 sefa, the agent gets 120,000 sefa as his commission. This is money negotiation. So you realize that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good business. It's a good business. People people keep, keep switching apartment because they pay on a monthly basis. It's not on a yearly basis. So uh, if you stay in an apartment for three months and you don't like that area. Just go back to the agent. The agent just is making cool money. So it's something you can also um, consider. The eighth business opportunity I have identified here is supermarket. Supermarket are scarce. People travel just to, to, to shop at supermarket, just to find supermarket where they shop. There's a supermarket here, I won't mention the name Kajeon. They don't give you uh, a shopping bag when you are done. The, the best they'll do for you if your goods are lot, a lot, they'll give you a carton. This is not a customized carton. It's just a regular carton. They just carry a pack of things and give you what. If you are buying maybe just bread and an egg and you're not ready to buy the shopping bag, you pack your stuffs and get out that way. They don't give you nothing. So they sell this, you have to buy this. So um and people troop into this supermarket because they are not a, there are not a lot of them. They are not even that big. So if you're into supermarket, you could come here and, and open a very big, long, well-stocked supermarket and offer this um, extra value services. It's of course, yeah, it's extra value. I, I added value. In fact, add it as a free shopping bag for whatever you buy. Oh my goodness. You will do well. You will do well. Um, the ninth business idea I've identified is that tech gadgets are, are pretty scarce to find original. Uh, people, people still tend to go to computer village in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria to still get them down here. People don't, people don't mind that far. Uh, but if you are able to become a reliable supplier, retailer, or wholesaler for original.
that place. I, 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 it's a company that I have that stays in US and has a lot of this kind of business running. There's lots of bikes and they've been giving me money year in, year out. So you could you could put it for them in business, you just keep paying you, or you could give it to them while they keep paying you off. If you get what I mean. So depending on whatever your choice is. I, I would suggest you just give them, they know it's theirs, but they have this time to pay you off and weekly they deposit this and after so a number of time or years, they successfully pay you off. So that way they're able to maintain the bike, they're able to do, do well to it and uh, give you less excuses because they know it's their property, the more they work, the more they're able to pay you off quickly and retain, retain it. So guys, this is... Uh, the recap again is one local restaurant that offer Nigerian food and other African foods. Two fast foods like Chicken Republic, KFC, um, and the likes. How did I not mention the place? Yeah, fast food like that would do so well here. Yeah. Buy sales of bikes, sales of bike accessories. Tour and travel companies like Wakana can come here and they'll do great. Importation business too will do great. How, being a house agent will fetch you good money within the shortest period of time. It's free. It costs you nothing that much to set up. I mean, little capital. Um, eight, I mentioned opening supermarkets. Nine, selling of tech gadgets. Ten, motorcycle hire purchase. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm urging you. Don't miss out on other exciting topics we'll be reviewing. They will not just be restricted to go to Northern Republic, but I promise you, you will gain value for your time on this channel. Subscribe, share with your friends, and like. Thank you, and have a good day. Merci beaucoup. Bye.